Hi everybody, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty where we women over 50 use skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Today I'm super excited to bring you my video on my six week trial of the Aura Lift. It's a rather unusual beauty tool. In just a few minutes I'll be sharing information about the Aura Lift and also showing you my six week before and after pictures. But first here's a look at my outfit of the day, also jewelry and makeup of the day I guess, and all purchasing info is listed under the video. And if you're interested in the tips and tricks that help us look our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I can hardly wait to share this with you. And this is a really, really interesting sort of a thing called the Aura Lift. And here it is. It comes in a little box. Actually, you get two boxes. You get a little purple one with a three millimeter Aura Lift, and then you get a pink box. This is it with the five millimeter Aura Lift. And here it is. It is just a little mouth guard device. And it's hard to believe that using this little guy in your mouth can actually have an impact on how your face looks and that it can kind of firm your face and maybe improve the shape of your face somewhat. And I'll show you my before and after pictures towards the end of this video and you can decide for yourself what you think, but I really do think it does work. And this little device was invented by a London dentist named Dr. Nick Mohendra. There he is there. And actually how it happened is that he was making dentures for his elderly patients. And he noticed that after a few months of wearing these dentures, and basically our teeth wear down as we age, that happens to all of us. And when he made the dentures, he of course made the teeth look as young as possible. So he added the height back into the teeth. And he found that over the first three or four months, and even the first year or two of these folks wearing the dentures, that they started to look younger, that their jowls started to lift, that their face shapes started to change, that their wrinkles started to kind of be softer. And basically overall their faces looked a lot younger looking and their patients were actually saying the same thing too. And so then for several years, he studied the effect of this. And I'll use the words from the Aura Lift website to kind of explain the process behind this. And here they are. It says the natural facelift device rejuvenates your face at home with a connected app now available with one year Zoom support. And that is really neat about that. You buy this little guy and it's $2.95. And then with my discount code, there's a 10% off discount, which is just great. But there is one year of Zoom support. And let me go back to reading the description. It says, if you're concerned about facial aging, the unique Orlift natural facelift device can help. It's achieved by wearing a mouth guard type device for short periods. Aura Lift is not an exercise device, but works on the principle of the body's natural ability to adapt and change. We know chronological age cannot be changed, but healthy lifestyle changes can reverse biological age. And it says this magical health and beauty device rejuvenates the face without surgery, pain, injections, or chemicals. And it says all this for $2.95 USD, which is less than the average price of a single Botox injection. And this will last you four years. And again, it says now with one year Zoom support. And they did send me this device, by the way, which I'm so happy about. But I also did the one introductory session and it was an additional $119. You don't have to do that at all, but you do get a very nice long session with someone to help you fit the device. And basically they send you the two devices unmolded and then you have to heat some water in a pan and they give you complete instructions to kind of mold this to your bottom teeth. And I'll show you how it looks on. It looks really Really weird and I will tell you you wear this three times a week for the first four months and I may have missed one time but I've been very religious about wearing this because I see the changes in other people on their website and I'll show you some before and after pictures from their website in a minute and it is amazing so I didn't want to take a chance that I wouldn't get great results but you wear it three times a week for the first four months. The first time you wear it just five minutes twice a day, then 10 minutes twice a day, then you do 30 minutes twice a day. And if you can, you go up from there and I'm at 60 minutes twice a day and it was very easy for me. I guess I have a big mouth, but I'll show you how this works in the mouth. And basically it is the mouth guard and then these little bumpers here. And those bumpers are designed to help you increase the amount of free space in your jaw to kind of do this. And I'll show you how it looks. You put it in there and then you kind of stand around like this, but you're trying to keep your top teeth from the bumpers, off of the bumpers. So kind of like this. 
and it's not hard and I try to do it when I'm doing something else like when I'm in here editing I will set my little cell phone timer for one hour and sit in here with this in my mouth or I'll be watching TV in the evening and wearing this I can't talk very well to Alan but you know he he gets used to me using these devices at home but anyway let me go ahead and show you some of the before and after pictures from the website so you'll get an idea of what this can do and I have to admit when I first heard about this, I thought, this is the stupidest thing in the world. There is no way this can work. I mean, you don't turn it on. It's not electric. It is just something you sit in your mouth and then you do this, you know, for a certain amount of time. But let's look at some of their before and after pictures. And the first picture is Barbara. And there she is on the left in the before picture, kind of baggy and saggy. And she's got some jowls really starting in there. And then there she is after 10 months of use. And it really looks quite a bit better. I think her face shape looks slimmer, more firm, more toned, and maybe there's a little help in the jowl area. And I will say that although she's used it 10 months, the pictures you'll see of me, I've just used it six weeks, and I do intend to keep it up because I really do think it's making a positive change. Let's go back to the before and after pictures. And as you can see in the before picture, she has a very wide face, and her face just does not look very toned at all. And in the after picture, her face looks more slim, her lips look better, and I think her overall face shape is much more attractive. And she is really starting to reduce the jowls that she had in the before picture in that after picture. Now, those are two ladies that were probably in my age range, but let's take a look at a younger lady so you can see what this device can do, even if you're not 50 plus, as many of us are. And this is Federica, and as you can see in the before picture, she's absolutely beautiful. She's a young mother, but then in the after picture, after using it eight months, her face just looks a lot more tight and toned. Her cheekbones look more lifted. I think her jowls look better, even though she really doesn't have jowling in the first picture. I think overall her face shape just looks better and the tone of her skin just seems lighter and brighter and more radiant. And that is one interesting thing about this device is it definitely affects your facial muscles. And I think after using it for six weeks, my theory is that as we get older, everything compacts. And so for me, that means my face gets more compact, my cheeks get bigger and fatter, my jowls get a little more hangy, everything just kind of compacts. But when you use this, it just kind of puts your face back in the place that it was when you were younger. Okay, before I show you my results, let me go ahead and direct you to the schedule information to show you how often you need to use this. Okay, for the first four months, you're going to use it every third day. And as you can see there, that's a weekly schedule. Every third day, they're using the Oralift, and you use it for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes if you can. That's how you do it for the first four months. And I am almost at the two month point, and I intend to use it for the last two months of the three times a week. And then the neat thing is you get to take a break. And let me show you the yearly schedule. And here is the yearly Oralift program. And in this example, they've used it two months in a row, January and February, and then they take four months off, and then they used it in July and August, and another four months off. So basically what it boils down to is that in a one-year period, you're using it two months, and then four months off, two months, and then four months off, and so you only use it twice a year. And the only time you ever do it as long as four months is this first initial period that I am in right now. Okay, let me go ahead and show you my before and after pictures. And let me do a disclaimer here. You know, I'm not a scientist. These pictures are pictures that I took. I always take the pictures in the makeup room with the same lighting. My lighting is exactly the same. Sometimes though, the lighting might appear different. I don't know why that is. I try to have the same facial expression, but I'll go ahead and show you my six weeks results. And please let me know in the comment section what you think. There is the before picture. And then there is the after picture on your right. And basically, again, I think the cheekbones just look a little less flabby. They look a little more toned, maybe. Maybe the lips even look a little better, which is something that I've noticed in other women that use it. Somehow the lips seem to look a little better, and I have no makeup on in either picture. And again, in terms of the jowls, it just looks like my jawline is a little bit more sculpted, maybe a little bit firmer in the after picture. But you'll have to be the judge, and please let me know in the comment section below the video. Now let's look at the left side of my face. You can see the before picture on March 17th and the after picture six weeks later. And the cheeks from the before picture to the after picture just look a little more lifted to me in the after picture, a little more slim and sculpted. And then in the nasal fold area and the line that's leading from the corner of my lip down to my jowls, 
it looks like maybe that line is a little bit decreased and the jawline appears to be a little bit more firm in the after picture than in the before picture. And next I'll show you the right side of my face and then there I am on the before picture on March 17th before I tried anything. And in the after picture on May 5th, it looks like the cheekbones look a little more sculpted just as they did on the left side of my face. The nasal folds look a little less pronounced maybe and the jawline I think does look a little bit more sculpted. And just in terms of the overall look of the skin, the overall look of the face, on the right side to me, it just appears overall like a slightly younger version of my before self. And so anyway, that is a look at my oral lift results at six weeks, and I am really, really happy with them. Maybe it's my imagination, but I do think that this is helping, and I just feel when I look in the mirror in the morning when I'm getting my makeup on, that somehow my skin does feel a little bit firmer. And again, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the video. And there is a guarantee after the first four months, if you've used it every three days, like they state, if you follow the directions, if you've entered your information in the app, entered all your visits in the app, and you've taken the pictures, the before and afters that they want you to take, and you don't like the results, then they will give you a refund, which is great. But I will say, if you don't plan to use this, if you know you're a person who orders something and it sits in the drawer gathering dust, then don't order this because you're probably not going to be able to use the app and follow it along religiously like they want you to, to activate that guarantee. There is an initial guarantee of a 14 day money back guarantee, but to get the full guarantee at four months down the road, you really do have to use the app and all that. And I will tell you, I am a little older person and apps are not really my thing. I used it once initially and then I decided I just wanted to do it myself because I'd really rather not sit there monitoring things with the app. I'd rather just put this in my mouth and go about my business doing something and really trying not to think about this. It's not a super amount of fun to do. It doesn't hurt or anything like that, but you do have to think about it. So I always kind of like to do something else productive while I'm doing this to pass the time. Okay, thank you for watching my video. And if you're interested in all things pro-aging, shall we say, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And so I'll make this one kind of quick, but it's something I've been thinking about recently. As many of you know, I've been going to see a counselor recently, Dr. Lance Parker, and I'll link his information below. And he does do sessions on Zoom. I think he's really wonderful. I went to him because even though he's a licensed clinical psychologist and can do all forms of therapy, he does have one course of therapy where if you want to try to deepen your religious faith, he will kind of take you through a process designed to increase your religious faith, which I really like. And I kind of had a little light bulb moment yesterday from something that he had said in one of our sessions. And it always baffled him. He said, why does the Lord say repeatedly, ask for what you want, ask for what you want? You know, what do you want? What do you want? And I have been trying to do that as part of this therapy process because part of the therapy process is designed to help you get happier. And I really like that too. So I'm always asking myself, what do I want? You know, do I want to clean up that room? Yes, I do. And then I clean up the room and I feel good about it. Not I should clean up that room and I feel terrible about it. And just yesterday, a light bulb went off in my head and I realized something about that phrase, what do you want? What do you want? And I realized that because due to my IBS issues, I really don't want to drink coffee. I was going to say I really should not drink coffee, but it's true. I really should not drink coffee. It gives me IBS issues, which are no fun. And I thought, oh gosh, I don't want to quit coffee. It's the last fun thing I have. I don't drink. I don't do anything fun except my coffee. I don't really want to give that up. But then I thought, what do I want? I want to have healthy bowels. I want to not have to find restrooms all the time. I want to normalize in that area. I really do want to have a healthy GI tract. And I realized that a lot of us, we say, what do I want? I want to eat that whole bag of potato chips. What do I want? I want to eat those cookies. What do I want? I want to sit on the couch and watch TV versus getting up and doing a workout. And then I realized that's the problem that a lot of us have. When we ask initially, what do we want? we kind of go into those things that, oh, that'd be really good. That would be really good to eat all those potato chips and all those cookies, that kind of thing. But really, if we stop and breathe and really think of what we want, what we want is to be slender and healthy. And everybody always says that slender feels better than all those Big Macs taste. And I think that is so true. And I realize that, yes, we always need to ask ourselves the question, what do we want? But we really need to slow down take a big belly breath, 
clear our mind in any given instance if it's something that's important and really ask ourselves what is our ultimate goal in terms of what we want? What do we really want? not just what would feel good in the moment. So anyway, that was my little epiphany for yesterday. Ask what you want, but really take a moment to study that because usually what we ask for is what we get and we want to make sure that what we want is really what we're going to get. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.